Oh my freaking goodness, what's going on guys, it's Steve, it's been almost a week, and it's not my fault, not that I was slacking, this, oh my gosh, look, Hurricane Irma wasn't even that bad where I was, it hit the west coast, not the east coast, but, and I say but, my dumbass school decides to cancel everything, kick everyone out, until today, so I'm like, okay, so I, I, this is funny. I'm going to get to the, to the ESPN and Carmel Anthony. Just give me a second. So Wednesday or was it Thursday, right? Yeah. Thursday morning. I go real early, right? And I know what I'm doing. I try to sneak in because I heard stories of them kicking people out that aren't supposed to, you know, but here's the thing. I pay for it. So how are you going to tell me I can't stay in my room just because oh, it's not great for your safety. I'm a grown ass man. I paid for the fucking room. I could stay there whenever that I, whenever I want. But I wasn't gonna put. I wasn't gonna do that or whatever. And I'm gonna tell you guys a story about what happens after. But they eventually kick me out. But I don't go without a fight. But I eventually stay at my friend Austin's house. He doesn't have internet because everything's all jacked up. And even when we were at his uh, grandmother's friend's house, the internet, they had internet, but it was all messed up. We couldn't even use it. So I had a week without internet. Could you imagine? Oh my goodness! I was so bored out of my damn mind. But. ESPN. You know it's crazy. I didn't even eat breakfast yet, and I'm about to get lightheaded because I'm about to go off. ESPN, are you kidding me? You have Danny Green, Manu Ginobili, and a whole bunch of other role players over Carmelo Anthony? If you're not a number one option, if you're not a number two option, or a number three, depending on the team, you're not better than Carmelo Anthony. And the only place where that stands, where there are three number options, potentially better than Melo. Actually, no, there's only two options on that team. And that's the Golden State Warriors, Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry. The rest of them, you know, the rest of the number one options are obvious. LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, and John Wall. And guess what? That's it! I made my top 10 list, uh, let's say a few weeks ago, and a lot of you agreed with me. I had Melo in the top 10, and a lot of you agreed. So how does he go from top 10 to top 70? This is by far... <laughs> ESPN, I still want a job. But, are you kidding me? This is by far the dumbest, absolute most blasphemous, stupidest thing I've ever seen. And I don't even say blasphemous, but that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my entire lifetime. How could you sit there with a straight face and say Carmelo Anthony is the 64th greatest player on the planet? He's not even the 64th greatest player of all time. He's like top 30. And you have the audacity to sit there and say that Carmelo Anthony is top 70? How the hell does that make sense, Ian? ESPN. That makes no sense whatsoever. You are the dumbest media outlet I have ever seen. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my entire lifetime. I still love you. I still want a job. But what the hell is going on? That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my entire lifetime. The dumbest thing I've ever seen in my entire lifetime. How are you going to put Carmelo Anthony? I think I know that girl. How are you going to put Carmelo Anthony behind Danny Green? He's a catch and shoot player that doesn't even average 10 points per game. Melo, what? You want you want you want so you want me to spit some knowledge? What 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 what's the Knicks record since Carmelo Anthony got there without him? I I guarantee you they didn't even win 10 games without him. They're like 10 and 60. So you're going to sit there and say that someone that's averaging 23-7-3, the clutchest player in the league last year, statistically, was about to drop 60 until... Eh, 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 foul! How is that a foul? He should have dropped 60 points. I'm so sick and tired. I'm tired of it. It makes no sense. The hate, the disrespect, the absolute blatant absolute travesty that's going on with the media. Thank goodness the NBA players are speaking up saying, no, 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 Melo is not top 70. Like, like, Le like LeBron James said, you name me 10 other players that can do what he did against Atlanta, and then we'll have a conversation. There's not even a debate. 
There's no way in hell Carmelo Anthony is not top 10. And if he's not top 10 to you, there's no way in hell he's not top 15. Okay, and I can understand if you say top 15. Heck, I can even understand if you say top 20. But top 70? Are you kidding me? Dwayne Wade wasn't even on your top 100 players? Oh, I know he's out of his prime. And he only averages probably around 19, 18 points per game, barely 20. But we're talking about someone that's a three-time champion, a finals MVP, that had the greatest performance in NBA finals history at his age. That proved in 2016 he still got it when he was a number one option when Chris Bosh got injured in the playoffs against Charlotte, how clutch he was. You have this guy, not even top 100. And people are supposed to sit here and take you freaking serious? You don't even have Carmelo Anthony in the top 10 or top 15. And people are supposed to take you serious? Oh my gosh, man. Yeah, ESPN, you are the biggest joke I've ever seen in my entire life. I still want a job. I still want to work with Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman. And if you don't hire me, Fox Sports is going to hire me. So I could debunk that fraud over there named Skip Bayless, who I love to watch. <sighs> but are you kidding me? Even Skip Bayless wouldn't say something this ridiculous like this. And this is someone that says LeBron James isn't even top 10 of all time. Oh my gosh, man, so early in the morning and you give me a freaking headache. It's 7.40 a.m. And I'm here early. They don't let us in until 8. Yo, these motherfuckers are assholes. Yo, let me tell you what happened. So I get there. There's no power, right? I'm like, all right, fuck. I'm about to go back to my friend's, my friend Austin's house anyway. So I'm in the, I'm in the bathroom wash, washing my hands. And it's pitch black in the air. I hear boom, 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 boom. So I'm like, all right, give me a second. So I go to the door, I open it, I'm nice, I'm like, hey, how you doing? She, and there's a lady and an old ass guy, and the fucked up thing is I see this old guy every morning for breakfast, and he says good morning to me every time for breakfast. But now since he's in front of this, she's not even that, she's not even cute. She's like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go in it, because they don't even deserve any of my time, but I'm telling you guys this so you guys can get a laugh out of this. So she's like, uh, Steven? And I'm like, yeah, that's me, why, what's going on? And she's like, you can't be here. So I tried to make up some phony ass story. I was like, oh, well, I just flew in here from New York. You know, last time I checked, this said we can come back on Wednesday. Uh, but keep in mind, it's Thursday. So that's why I try to play it off like that. And she's like, no, I'm sorry. You can't be here. And I was like, but I don't have anywhere else to go. And she's like, and then she didn't say anything. No, actually, she was like, like a stupid face like that. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, all right, bitch, fuck you. You know, and, and then the dude was like, well, you better find somewhere else to go. <sighs> When he said that, you have no idea how hard it was for me to constrain myself. Because you guys know from my story channel that I concluded because I can't get paid from that. But it's not even that. It's just they kept demonetizing and then, oh, it's not ineligible because of all this new YouTube stuff. But whatever. I have anger issues and I've struggled with it my entire life. I went to therapy for it. It took so much out of me to constrain myself when he said that to me with that stupid well you better find somewhere else to go like dude is like 70 i'm like oh my goodness it took so much and then she was like well too bad that's pretty pretty much i was saying fuck you get out and in my mind i'm like i pay for this shit how are you gonna kick me out in the contract the room the, the room contract does not say you have to get out during an emergency if they evacuate it doesn't say that so i'm like i close the door and I was, I was like, all right, fine. So I try to close the door. And this dude puts his foot in the door. When he did that, oh my gosh, I almost exploded. Okay? I was like, oh. So I took a deep breath. I was like, and I guess when he saw me do that, I was like, look, whether your foot is there or not, I'm closing the door and I'm getting dressed. I don't give a damn. And he was like, oh, well, I'm staying here anyway. Like, I don't give a damn where you stay. Whether your foot is in the way or not, I'm slamming this door. I don't give a shit. I'm going to get dressed. And his face, when I said it, he was like, whoa. He backed up. So I took my sweet. I took like, I told him, yeah, I'm going to get dressed, but I'm closing the door unless you want to see me butt ass naked. 
you know, I was gonna say something stupid to the girl, but I didn't want to get any uh, sexual harassment. Whatever. So I'm, I'm getting my shit ready. Uh, I text Austin, I'm like, yo, I, I'm, I'm coming back. They kick me out. And he's like, <laughs> that's funny. That's what you get. Whatever, whatever. And I'm like, fuck you. You know, we're, me and him are like best friends. So I'm getting my stuff ready, but I'm taking my time on purpose. I'm, I'm taking my time on purpose. I'm slowly packing and everything. And they knock, and I'm like, okay, I'm getting my stuff ready, like I said. I'm not going to rush for you, you know. So I'm packing slowly and slowly, taking my time. By the time I get to the door, they're not even there. She's waiting at the end of the hallway with the door open, literally waiting for me. She's shaking, nervous, like, oh, my gosh, she's going to go off on me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, she's so cute. And I upset that cute, sexy guy. Because let's be real, do you, oh, my gosh, ladies, come on. Shh. Ooh, there's, a, there's a YouTuber that, uh, she's cute. She's cute. I'm not going to say her name. But, what, what am I saying? And he's not there. So I go downstairs, and I don't even talk to her. She looks at me, and I think she says, I don't, I don't remember exactly what she says. She's like, uh, I think she was trying to say, oh, I'm sorry for, I didn't even listen. I just had my hat on like this, and I just walked down the stairs. I'm like, fuck you, in my mind. I'm like, fuck you. Now, imagine if someone really didn't have anywhere to go. What safety risk? The hurricane is gone. It's been gone for a week. What safety risk is it for a student to stay there if they really had nowhere else to go? Thankfully, I did. And if I didn't, I would have brought a hotel room. But what if someone didn't have the, the privilege that I had? And they really had to sleep in their car or on the street. Fuck you. Fuck you. Straight up. Fuck you. Fuck the school. I don't give a damn. Fuck Flagler College. Fuck you. Because imagine if someone really didn't have anywhere to go and you do that. You pull something like that. Are you kidding me? They pay for the room and you're going to kick them out when it's not even a safety hazard? Fuck you. Anyway, it's been your man Steve. I love you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.